Hey guys, Chris here from PBX How To's. Talk to you today about feature access codes. Now, feature access codes are um, basically codes for you to dial on a phone to access the various features that are available to you in the Avaya uh, PBX. And you can see here, there's certain codes in here to access outside lines, um, access call forwarding, uh, access call park, call pickup, things like that. Now, these are similar to what you would find in your house, except your house doesn't have over, you know, 500 features. <laughs> and i um, not saying you can access all those features, but you can access a good number of them, nine pages worth. That includes basic access codes or basic features, um, call center features, housekeeping, which is hotel, motel type stuff vector features, things like that. And you can see in the 5.2 system I have here, I have nine pages of them. Now, to assign these, you need to validate or verify what you have in your dial plan. So I'm going to go in my dial plan, and you can see down here in the bottom right-hand corner, I have different types of codes, accesses, or access codes, uh, the starting points to get to my feature access codes. And you can see I assigned star with a 2 of length, a star with a three a three digit length, pound sign with a three digit length, a nine with a one digit length, eight with a three digit, or I'm sorry, that's a DAC. My bad. But you can see these bottom four feature access codes. Okay, and I'll show you where I've assigned those. So display feature, you can see if the display feature access codes up here. <coughs> So you can see I, I had star with a three length and star with a two length. And you can see here's one with a two length, here's one with a three length. That nine of a one length basically means you can only use it once. <laughs> Which is fine because I only want nine available to people who need to make outside calls. Now, the question is why would you need to have all these codes? Well, not everybody has access to the features on their buttons on their phones. Um, sometimes it's easier to just tell people, you know, here's here's the feature access code you're going to use to call forward your phone. If they, if the if their class restriction is allowing them to do call forwarding. Um, analog telephones. There's sites that have a lot of analog phones and they just didn't want to purchase digital phones. So you can still access these these really cool features by using an analog telephone. So, um, you know, if you need to find out more on feature access codes, there's a the, one of the great documents that Avaya has is the Avaya Aura Communication Manager Feature Description Implementation Document. It's about 1,700 pages, and it goes through every feature that's available in the system. And all these features, like I said, uh, you know, let me get down to the call center. So here's call center code. So you can easily tell people, you know, if you need to log in, here's the login code, here's the logout code, manual in, auto in, after call, things like that. So you can still access these features without having to program on your phone itself. Um, call vectoring, hospitality. If you have this set up, your PBX set up to work in a hotel motel environment, you know, you can do this. You can set these up here. So, um, thanks for watching. Hope you guys like these videos. I'm going to continue to make them. Again, this is a basic series. I'm trying to get certain playlists set up. So, uh, keep watching for more and I'll get advanced stuff going here soon. Okay. Thanks for watching. Talk to y'all later. Bye bye.